Hi, Josh Taylor from Spinning here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose and fix a generator belt noise that we were having on some of our commercial grade bikes in the field. Now to do this job, the tools you'll need are a four, five, and three millimeter Allen wrenches. So five, four, three millimeter Allen wrenches, a small brush so you can clean some of the debris out of here. And then you're going to be using the provided longer four millimeter screws that we're going to be replacing the originals with and the larger washers that we're going to be putting behind the generator bracket to better align uh, the belt so that it goes through the pulleys. Now to diagnose the issue of course uh, it makes a crackling noise you're going to need to take the front belt guard off of the bike um, so you're going to use a five millimeter and a three millimeter Allen wrench to do that. Something to take note of is it's very important to make sure when you're taking that off to not allow it to come down and hit the top of the generator. You can see the generator shell does spin. Uh, it's fragile and you don't want to damage it with uh, the belt guard itself. So be careful of that. Um, once you get the belt guard off, make sure that the rear belt guard is not rubbing the flywheel so you can diagnose it. You might need to remove it completely. In this case, it's not rubbing, so I don't need to remove it, but something to be aware of. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you what this noise is. Now this bike is, it was making it a little bit louder, but now it's uh, it's gotten a little quieter. But you can hear that it's slightly making this grinding uh, noise, uh, popping noise. And what's happening is the belt just wants to slightly ride um, out of the tracks of the front pulley. So we're just gonna be realigning the pulley to help uh, give that belt a straighter line so that that is not occurring and making a noise. Now some bikes it makes a slight noise and then some bikes it is loud. Um, so it, this, this does need to be um, addressed. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the generator off. So to do that, you're gonna need your four millimeter Allen wrench and then a three for the small uh, bolt that holds the wire bracket um, on the bike. So let's go ahead and loosen the bolts and take them completely off. Now something to be aware of is you are going to be reusing the small washers um, that are on the original bolt here on the new hardware. So set that aside and then you're going to go ahead and take the other one out. Again taking that washer off because you're going to be reusing that. And then using your three millimeter, you're gonna go ahead and take the wire bracket off. And from here, now what we're gonna do is unclip the generator wire from the main wire. Uh, so there's a little small tab here, you're just gonna press down on it and it comes right apart. And then you're gonna carefully take the generator off the bike. Now I never like to grab the generator shell itself, I just grab the bracket and take it off. Now at this point, we wanna take our small brush and just clean any debris that might be in that pulley. And you also just want to give it a once over. I like to spin it, make sure nothing's rubbing and also check to make sure that the screw and washer is there and that the pulley itself is not loose. So all looks well there. So I'm going to carefully set this aside and now I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to take the generator belt and just get it out of the way because I want to clean the tracks in here of any rubber debris that might be in there, just from slight belt wear. So I'm just gonna clean that out. And I also like to clean the rubber side of the generator belt itself. And also it's a good idea to just run your fingers over the casing and the rubber itself, feeling for any you know cuts or uh, something that doesn't feel correct. Um, you can also flip the generator belt inside out and just take a look to make sure everything is good. In this case, it does look good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set that back down. And now we're gonna take the provided hardware and remount the generator so the belt has better alignment. So to do that, first thing we're gonna need to do is take the washers that were on the original uh, bolts and put them on the new longer four millimeter bolt. So you can see I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now what we're going to do 
is take our generator and make sure the belt is best you can on the front pulley and then just seat that belt onto the pulley on the generator and you can just set it here. And now we're gonna take the longer four millimeter with the washer on it and we're gonna start to put this all back together. Now you're gonna be taking this provided washer and put it on the inside of the bracket. So what we're doing here is just moving the bracket a little outbound or outboard so that we can get a little better alignment and get that belt noise out of the way. So you're gonna carefully start that. You don't wanna cross or anything. And I just keep this really loose so I can get this one in there. And then just make sure that you can get everything aligned. And then you're just gonna start to snug these up. Now taking the uh, four millimeter, what you're gonna do is just start to just get them so they're barely tight, just snug, should, I should say. And now we're gonna make sure that the belt is seated properly on the flywheel pulley and that the belt is on the generator pulley correctly so that now we can start to tension that belt properly. So yes, I've got everything seated. You might just need to, you know, roll the flywheel through a little bit, make sure everything's seated properly. And now taking the four millimeter, we can start to snug things up. Now, proper belt tensioning. Um, you just want a little bit of tension on here. So what I like to do is just get it to where it just gets basically straight. You don't want to over tighten this belt because that can put a lot of force on the generator spindle itself and it's not good. So we just start to snug these up. I like to, I like to tighten their, the bolt that's to the left or towards the back of the bike first. And you can give that some torque. And now we're gonna plug this generator wire back in so it's clearing the idler so we can test this to make sure it's working well. So go ahead and just plug that back in, make sure you hear it clip, make sure it's out of the way. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and test what we've done, making sure that the belt is properly tensioned and that that noise has gone away. So in this case, you can see it has gone away, so I'm good there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna recheck these. If you need to readjust it, go ahead and do that and then check again to make sure everything's quiet and aligned. So I'm snugging those up even more. And now I'm gonna take that little screw with my three millimeter and put that uh, wire bracket back on. And you don't need to snug this up too much, just Give it a little bit, again, it's plastic, it's just holding the wire out of the way, and give it one last check, make sure everything's good. In this case, as you can see, the noise is completely gone. And now what you're gonna do is put the belt guard back on. Now again, when you're putting that belt guard back on, be very careful to not hit the top of the generator. I always put the five millimeter in, the five millimeter bolt first, just snug it up, get everything aligned, put my threes in, and then the rest, make sure everything is uh, aligned. And again, you don't wanna over tighten any of the uh, bolts with the uh, belt guard because you can crack that belt guard. So that's how you diagnose and fix a generator belt issue, issue in the field.